you, man. It's about dope, man. I'm, you asked me Good a luck question. To you. Good luck to you. I'm not gonna waste my time talking. You asked me a question, I'm giving I'm you a question. I'm not wasting my time talking to you. If you want to tell me about the last second when you pulled the trigger, if it's not self-defense, you show me right now that you're a nutcase, dude. How am I showing you on? You're a nutcase. On August 2nd, 2017, police responded to a 911 call in Sandusky, Ohio. When they arrived at the scene, they found the body of Anthony Pearson inside of his red truck. Witnesses claim they saw a man run up to Anthony, argue with him, and then take his life. More witnesses would come forward, and a man named Joel Miles would be brought up on more than one occasion. Joel was a known violent criminal who had just finished serving time for an attempted murder charge. Before the police had a chance to interview Joel, he would call the Sandusky Police Department. Joel told police that he knew they thought he was a suspect and he wanted to give them his alibi. He claimed that he had been with his fiancée, Amy, at a hotel outside of town. The police would interview Amy and at first, she tried to lie for her boyfriend, but eventually the truth came out. So you immediately thought he either shot somebody or he was shot? Yeah. Why? Why would you think that? Because he's so hateful and everybody hates him. When did he answer? I can't tell you time, but I probably have to call him 50 times. Okay, well, what was said? I was like, tell me the truth. Like, what is going on? Because I'm confused. And then he told me he needs a different alibi. The detective told Amy that she would go to jail if she lied for Joel, so she changed her story and said Joel had not been with her. Amy claimed that Joel had become very angry at a man named Lester because he believed Lester was giving her drugs. When Joel thought he saw Lester sitting in his truck, he confronted him and killed him. The problem is, the man he killed was not Lester, it was Anthony Pearson. The police now had a mountain of evidence against Joel, plus his cell phone put him at the scene at the time of Anthony's death. A warrant was issued and Joel was arrested and brought in for interrogation. Now, man, I'm gonna be me now, man, because you're lying that piece of shit. You lied to me to get my girl to come down here, bro. Amy ain't got nothing to do with this, bro. I sit sitting there and I talk to you, brother. Sir. I gave you my word, bro. You got jumped. You got jumped. I talk to you, bro. And you dog me, man. Go holler at Elder Bridge and the dudes that was outside, man. Okay. okay. Now, I want my car and I want Amy to go out of jail, man. Amy ain't do nothing, bro. Okay. No Amy ain't got nothing to do with this, bro. Y'all got her locked up for what, man? Bring it down. Bring it down. Okay. Relax. Who's you? I'm Detective Witchman. Okay. I was off the other day. I would have talked to you, but he was there. Okay. Talk to me. Okay. And I can explain some stuff to you. All right. Okay. Are you relaxed now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's talk. See him. Let's talk. That dude lied to me, man. Okay. We'll talk about that, too. Well, Brotherton didn't mm -hmm. lie to you, believe it or not. He did not lie to you. So what my, what my car okay. was? So your car was used and is down, impounded in our police car right. right right now. Mm -hmm. um, because that was the vehicle you drove away in, mm -hmm. okay, that night. So right now your vehicle is impounded. Because even if you uh, would have robbed a gas station or... or I didn't kill nobody. Down, but listen, and I look in your eyes and I see if I didn't kill nobody. Even if you were over at another crime and you drove in your vehicle. All right. Okay. So my car is part of the investigation. Did, ex exactly. That's why we have the car. So right now, um, the car is going to be, we're doing a search warrant. We're going to go through the car. All right. Process the car. All right. Um, standard procedure. And that car is going to be taken out to the city complex and mm -hmm. it's going to be stored. What's that? Be nice. I kept it real. With I can I can see how you you believe that, but I hope by me explaining I asked that. Said, was my car on the investigation? And Brotherson gave me his word. That's a that's a liar. Brotherson said I asked Brothers. I said Brotherson, it's my car on the investigation. My little sister has my car, and I'm willing to, My little sister's willing to drive down here to get her car and my car. Brotherson looked me in my eyes and said, No, your car is not under investigation. I was not at, Why that, lie about I that, was not at that interview. I don't know what was all said. I know I didn't do nothing. So I don't have a problem with Brotherson telling me, like, Your car in the investigation, I'm like, Nicole, bring me my car, man. Can we, can we talk a little bit about that? You go to the situation. We can talk about anything okay. you want to talk about. I, I want to. I'm going to let you know what your rights are. That day advised you your rights the other night. I'm going to let you know what your rights are again. I did. I did. I don't want to sign nothing. I did. I know my rights. You understand what your rights are? You don't have to sign anything, but I do want to let you know what your rights are again. I just want to remind you. Before the interrogation started, another officer had made Joel feel like he wouldn't be getting his car, earrings, and money back because of his charges. Joel is a very angry and violent person, so using a detective that is calm and relaxed will help lower his defenses. That's fine. As long as you understand what you're right. I know. That's good. That's fine. As long as you understand I know we're being recorded too, so hey cameraman. 
It is, it is gaming. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. Okay. Um, part of the investigation is uh, um, part of DNA. Okay. Um, uh, and what? But uh, like, oh man, you get one. Oh, yeah, I know I ain't do nothing. Okay. That's so how I know I ain't do nothing. BCI, the crime lab comes in and they process the truck. Mm -hmm. And what they do is anybody had any contact with the truck at all, um, they they process it for DNA and fingerprints and all that stuff. All right. So we'll get you a copy of your fingerprint card here right. for elimination you said, purposes. You said, you said anybody that had contact with what truck? The truck where the victim was in. All right, there you go. Come on. Okay, so well, you we already got your fingerprints from your process. Yeah, yeah, so we'll get a copy of that. So do you, can I get a copy of your? Okay. You get anything you want. Right. I know I ain't doing. Why well, y'all are pre questioning me and put me in here? Y'all need to be y'all need to be out there getting people that's out there. But y'all got me in here. Y'all just happy with that. But I'm not going to help y'all with your investigation. You know what? If we were happy with the investigation, <laughs> I wouldn't be out here. Yeah. We'd be done. Yeah. So it's an ongoing investigation, right? Y'all need to get more people to be locked up in here. That's what y'all need to do. I'm well, just who, not going to help y'all. Who else was out there? Now I don't know the guy. I'm from Cleveland, man. I just want to get you in here. Also. Yeah, I've been here a long time. I've been you here for a long time. Yes. But I'm not going to do that. We, Tell we, them to bring their stuff in here we, and be We learned about you early on. What you learned about me? I said a lot of drugs. Have you ever heard anything about me shooting? You heard about me selling drugs. We heard, we heard that you're a pretty tough dude. I am. You did that. I know you are. I am. Very. No, I, I've done my homework. Very. Don't bar nobody. I know that. I've done my homework. Even brothers. You demand respect. Lied to me. He didn't. He lied to you, me. you demand respect. Yes, I'm a man. Why would okay. I demand respect? Exactly. Okay. So I didn't um, do that to that man, but it's like everybody, everybody, they said, I got a phone with my female friend. She said, everybody in Sandusky saying Joey like he was superstar. And I ain't even do it, bro. Superstar. And I ain't even do it. But guess what? I'm going to trial. <laughs> okay. And the only reason and that's, I, that's what's awesome about the United States of America is you have the opportunity to go to trial. That's but then it's like I'm sitting here under no bond and I'm being charged with murder. Well, it's a pretty good case against you, I can tell you that much right now. So. Mm -hmm. Um, but we'll talk about that in a second. All right. Yeah. We're going to get all the DNA and stuff out of here. Either get please. this done with. And... Yeah. Like Everybody keeps saying it's a strong case against me. So that means basically what y'all telling me is that y'all throwing everything that I'm dating y'all know, and y'all telling me that y'all feel like y'all got y'all victims. So, how, what, so what happened down in Willard? With the DNA out of the way, the detective confronts Joel with some of the evidence they have against him. So the, the mountain that you're going to be climbing right now is that, is that, that you're inside of here, mm -hmm. okay? And i got to be straight up with you, All right. okay? Everything that we have, mm -hmm. okay, um, we have eyewitnesses, All right. okay, more than one. All right, let's go on. Okay, that, that has told us we've had numerous calls. I'm sure Detective Brothers and whoever else talked to you, was it uh, Sergeant Newell, or Lieutenant Newell? You the black guy? Yeah. yeah. Um, we, we've had numerous tips, mm -hmm. but tips are just that. More importantly is that we have eyewitnesses right. that come. So there, I'm going to be straight up with you. There's enough right now mm -hmm. for a conviction. I don't care about that. Okay, so the issue that we're going to have right now is that when Joe Miles is sitting in front of 12 jurors. I, I'm not going to admit to something I didn't do. Okay. Never. When you're in front of 12 jurors, I Joe. I've been to trial before, so I'm going to look that up and sing it. Okay, let me finish what I'm saying. Okay. okay. You have much respect. I'm in front of 12 jurors, and when we explain all the circumstances, you know what that, you, you know that picture is going to paint? Yeah, I didn't do it. The picture's gonna paint that you're all over it, okay, and that you did it, and that you did it very cold blooded, okay. Mm -hmm. So, but there's, and I'm sure that when you were talking to before, that there are circumstances that, to be honest with it, we don't know what that would actually led up to. You I lied to trigger. I lied to Brotherton okay. and told Brotherton that I wasn't in Sandusky because of my fiance. Okay. Well. Wait, there, there's I not even to say that I'm gonna tell you the story. Whether you sitting up here blowing smoke up my ass and trying to lie to me, man, because I'm gonna get irritated about it, man. Okay, so listen, listen. I get off the highway, I came, I left Willard, I can't I left okay. seeing Michaela Cook in Willard, like I always see her. I came home, I parked down by the end, down by the end of Park View, I hit my lick, I drove around the corner, I came back, I parked my car in front of my home. Fuck it, I'm gonna let you know the true story. I parked my car in front of my fucking home after I left and went around the bend and stopped right there to decide if I wanted to leave out the park or if I wanted to go home. Because mind you, I was cheating on my fiance with another woman and I wanted to go back to Willard with Michaela Cook. So I was debating if I wanted to turn on Park View or if I wanted to leave out the park. So okay. Brotherton told me that I never went that way. That's a damn lie. All this stuff is about drugs, Mr. Officer. 
All this is about because I won't sell them no drugs. So do you know that? So you know that you know that all this is. Uh, I know it's about drugs. No, it's all. Awesome. I'm gonna give you the truth. All of this is steaming because I only sell Josie drugs and Keith. So now I'm gonna give you the truth about what's going on over on Parkview. So the truth is, I only serve Josie drugs and I will only serve Keith. I will not serve Audie. I will not serve no one else. And everybody mad at me about that. My house got broken into. They stole 32 grams of dope out my house. Did y'all know about that? Yeah. They stole 32 grams of D out my house. Did y'all know that? Who'd you, who'd you hear that did that? I don't know who did it. We heard names. But I don't know who did it. Okay. So now, so now that happened to me. And then prior to that, dudes were riding past watching my home. You heard about that? Did you hear about that? But well, they ain't telling you all, they just give you yeah. a little bit. Dudes riding past, staring at my home, and I walk outside to go serve and hit some hit a lick or something. Dudes riding past me, giving me strange looks. Dudes stressing the bottom of my, my car on the back by the by my uh by my, my fender, my bumper. And there's so much stuff going on. But at the end of the day, when I pulled up that night, all the bridges in my car. When I stand up, or would I be being rude? No, just stay, just stay seated. You stay seated. You got, you stay I ain't gonna, gonna, gonna be nervous. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do nothing to you, sir. I'm, I know, I'm talking to you, man. The only person I I'm mad at is Brotherton. Because I, I feel like Brotherton was dishonest with me about my car and my earrings and my money. Okay. He had his hands on my car like this, just like I told Detective Lieutenant Noel. He had his hands on my car talking to me about dope. Why you won't sell me no dope? Sell me some dope, man. All it was. All it was. Okay. I said no, man. I'm not selling you no dope, man. F you niggas. I'm tired of you niggas down here. Leave me alone, bro. That's all I ask for is people just to leave me alone, man. I only did only did with a certain few of people, man. All the bridge kept questioning me, kept asking me, kept asking me. Then some other some dudes walked up to my car, read my plates on my car, man. They tell you that? I heard. Did they tell you that for? I don't know. So some dude woke up on my car, read my plates on my car. It's bothering me, man. I'm not bothering nobody, man. Sure. I'm sitting in my car. All these still talking to me. There is, there was two dudes walking to my place, and then all they turned around like, man, leave, man, leave the be alone, bro. So next thing you know, me and all in the car talk. I say, you make me feel uncomfortable. Let me get out the car, bro. I get out the car. Me and me and the dude, me and me, Audi, and some other dudes. I don't know their name was arguing. I leave. My fiance Amy was not even present. Okay, I'm following you. So why Amy is involved with this, sues me. I walk back up. I was about to go in my home. But I said, F I'm not going in my home because now I was sorry. So now I was about to go in my home. So now I say, F I go back to my car. Next thing you know, that red S, that red truck, speed is the left the scene and speed back around the scene. And everybody want to keep it real. All the breeds want to grab a pistol. The to uh, fat grab a pistol and another grab a pistol. And I had my 32, so how can I kill that man? And I ain't had no bullets in my gun. The only time I ever fired that 32, man, was probably four days prior to me buying that four, that 32 in the air, man. That's the only time I ever fired that 32, man. The only time, the only time when I bought that gun, I fired that gun in the air, man. That's the only time I ever fired that gun. The night of that murder, I did not have no bullets in my gun, man. Joel's story now changes from he was at the hotel with Amy at the time of the crime to he was there, but he didn't have bullets in his gun. But you can go ahead and tell me the stories that you hearing or whatever you hearing, man. Yeah, but, yeah, I'm but when I'm sitting up here and I'm trying to give y'all the truth, y'all looking at me like, man, you a lying ass. But I think I'm trying to be honest with you. Like, I didn't kill that man. And secondly, I don't even give a fuck about no one. But Amy, my daughter, and my son, JV, is Aquarius, man. I don't care about no one else. My Who daughter and my son. Mother? But, but my kids? Yeah. I ain't, man, why? Why were my kids involved with this? Well, they were there that night. Yeah, they went to, they, they had, my, kids, my, kids, my kids was with me for, I think my kids were with me for like seven, eight days. My yeah. kids were with me for seven, but I ain't about to let y'all interview no babies. They babies, they're eight or seven years old. Are they Gloria's kids? Yeah, they Gloria Adams' kids. Bro, interview my babies, they babies, man. Interview your babies, I'm just wondering who's, my, who's, who's the mom. My baby mom name is Gloria Sabrina Adams, man. I had my kids for seven days, man. Amy, man, come on, Amy ain't had nothing to do with none of this, man. I'm telling you, I did not pull the trigger on that man. When I heard that pop noise, I ran and got in my car and sped off. Now, if y'all want to be honest and technical, I know y'all heard all the 911 calls. I know y'all heard like I heard them. Yeah. But y'all run the game on me the same way, like I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's, 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 do you know there's uh, witnesses that are coming forward? Right. Mm -hmm. well, and I'm we have eyewitnesses uh -huh. that have gave some phenomenal statements, all right. I'm telling you. Um, because now they don't feel that they're threatened because you're in here now. They right. feel comfortable talking. So all right. 
It's being straight up with you. All right. So the only question that we have now is self-defense, or are you just batshit crazy and you just went nuts and shot? Nah, I ain't shoot that man. So that's basically like you said, that's the same thing. No, I'm saying that's they're, the they're, same they're, thing why I got mad at brother man. Okay. Because you're asking me my story. No. And now I'm being honest and I'm giving you all my story. Okay. And I'm even telling you that I was there. I live at 2134 Parkview. We understand that. That's why I live there. So it's not against the law for me to be at 2134 Parkview. No, not at all. Not at all. But we're just trying to figure out why. Okay, mm -hmm. we already know everything that happened. All right. We've had people that reside there that don't have any involvement in you, don't have any involvement with Audi, don't have any involvement with the victim. Nothing. Mm -hmm. We have innocent people there at these houses mm -hmm. that they heard all the arguing. Naturally, they're going to go to the doors. They're going to look out. Mm -hmm. And what do they see? They seen this man right here, Amy's boyfriend, walk up to the truck and shoot the guy. Okay, <laughs> so you can laugh what you want, and you're going to look awfully silly in front of 12 people. No, I'm, a, I, I'm, I'm, I'm talking man. I'm, I'm not being a man. man. No we're, trying, we're trying to figure out why. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you attempted. Maybe that's what you wanted to do. That's you and Tony. If it, did the did the uh, Tony in the truck? Did he have a gun? Oh my God. Did he point a gun at you? Oh my God! Is this self defense? I just told you. If it's not self defense, I told you, man. I did not pull the trigger that night. But at the end of the day, I know you've seen on my jacket, I went to trial before, and I'm going to go again. Because I know I did a trial. But what I'm saying is this, though. I just told you. I gave you my story, and I told you. Okay. I'm telling you that that red truck left the scene. What I want you to do is I want you to get up on that stand, and you tell mm -hmm. your story to those 12 jurors, mm -hmm. because they're going to look at you just like I am, mm -hmm. not believing you, because there's a reason why that trigger was pulled. Joel, yeah, I guess it, it's done. Right. You, you can't, we cannot change the past. What we can only figure out right now is why this happened. Why would I? I just told why you. Why we have a dead guy? I just told you the, the whole argument. I did. I did. I, I just, heard I just told you the Okay, whole, the only whole thing argument. that you're forgetting about I didn't pull the trigger. is when that trigger there. was pulled. I didn't pull the trigger. Okay. But, like you said, you said you got eyewitnesses. But look at this. Remember how y'all locked Amy up for uh, trust trust the justice? Yeah. 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 Trusting the justice, man. Basically, you're lying. Yeah, he lied to me. All right. Right. So, yeah, what are y'all going to do to the people that wrote y'all these statements? That's all I want. What you going to do to the people that wrote you these statements? So I'm going people to that gave me statements? Yeah, the people that wrote you statements that you said so much are now. Well, they're going to be up on the stand and they're going to get cross examined also. All right, by my, my attorney, uh -huh. and by the prosecutor's going to ask some questions, and my yeah. attorney is going to ask some questions too. Right, exactly. Right. They're going to get up on stand and they're mm -hmm. going to say exactly what. What they seen and mm -hmm. what they portray the picture of Joel Miles is mm -hmm. that you're a ruthless son of a. You mm -hmm. walked up there and shot him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what it sounds like. That's what it, the picture is painted. I'm just being straight up with you. I have no reason to lie to you. I'm not in here trying to trick you. I'm just trying to understand the events that led up to it. And I can understand, which I believe you, that Otto Bridge had a knife because he's under indictment. We're about to get indicted right now for a stabbing he did not too long ago. Okay, I believe that he's got a knife. Okay, I believe that other, there was other guns that were out there. Oh, was a lot okay. of guns out there. Did did the guy in the red truck have a gun? Mm, I don't know. I really don't know. I can't. I just know that it was guns out there. I might have snitched. If I was, like I did some shit the day when I told Detective Brunson I was gonna tell him I'm gonna sell something dope. But I ain't do no shit. That, that was a weak nigga shit. So it was guns out there. The only the ones that say saying there's anything about the guns are out there. Guns. They say that you the only one had a gun. I don't know if I necessarily believe that. <laughs> there you go! So they said I had high But I do believe listen. that you pulled the trigger. I know you do believe that. All right. All way, I know that you pulled the trigger. You know I pulled the trigger. Yeah. You know that. You 100% sure. I'm 100% sure. All right. There you go. Because, yeah. of the, because of the witnesses that I talked to, you got to they have nothing to do, hmm. nothing to do with you, nothing to do with the parties out there involved in mm -hmm. it. The witnesses that I have had you shooting Tony. I need to in the truck. All right. So they said it's I a wrap. So, so this, 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 this is what I want to know, Mr. 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 Detective. Right? All right. So they said that night, I shot Tony. Yes, you did. There you go. Well, that's how you want me to go forward with the case. All right. Listen, man. Or do you want me to try to understand all the events? I just want to know this. What are my earrings and my money? That's all I care about. I mean, you basically telling me like, uh, it's basically what you're telling me in my face is that Mr. Miles, no matter what the fuck you say out your mouth, 
you black bitch, I don't believe you. Okay. So now that you feel that way towards me, you came here like it was cool with me at first, bro. So now that you feel that way towards me, why are you talking to me then? Let's do it. Joe, did I ever disrespect you? That's basically what those names. That's basically, no, you don't have to do it. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. I'm giving you enough respect. I don't even need to talk to you. Mm -hmm. I'm giving you enough respect, Joel, mm -hmm. to try to understand because I really don't want to believe that that you're that nuts that you just go up and shoot. No, I ain't. I mean, I, I think since I've been home, I think that there's since I've been home, man, I've been getting money. Y'all ain't had a complaint out of me about nothing, man, about selling dope, man. That's all y'all only complaint y'all had out of me. So it ain't about me being no lunatic to the world, none of that, because I ain't out there going crazy okay. on nobody. Okay. But, if you but I also know all the details on your East Cleveland shooting. I know all that, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. We have all those records, yeah. mm -hmm. okay? So not only are you looking at this shooting, mm -hmm. You're looking at repeat violence. I don't care about specifications. You're looking at, I don't know, about the um, drug trafficking. I'm not sure if they have any buys on you. No. Nope. Okay. And they do, I don't give a f. Okay. Well, that's what I do. I sell dope. Yeah. So well, I, you know, know. I do I will go down and do my time for what I do. Do you understand? If you get a conviction on this in an RVO, I don't, man, listen, I'm so heartless, man. I'm heartless, man. I, so, ain't, I didn't do that to that man. But, but, I, but I'm sitting here and I'm, I'm, I'm a felon. Yeah, I'm a felon. Okay. So Everybody know I'm a felon. Then I want you to sit on a stand and I want you to say all this. Because, but I can't, but because you're showing but, to me right now that you're not a human but, being, dude. How, how do I have a conscience? Don't you have a conscience? But you want me to sit in here and admit to you about something I didn't do? I know what happened out there. I'm telling you that they want they, I'm telling you, I told you in the beginning I what they was begging me, me for, man. They're begging me for dope, man. I'm telling you, man. Okay. And you telling me that I'm not giving you the story. I'm telling you what it's about. All the way up until you're not pulling the trigger. I did not pull the trigger, man. It's about dope, man. I'm, you asked me Good a question. Luck. Good luck to you. I'm not going to waste my time talking to you. You asked me a question, I'm giving you a question. I'm not wasting my time talking to you. If you want to tell me about the last second when you pulled the trigger, if it's not self defense, you show me right now that you're a nutcase, dude. How am I showing you on You're a nutcase. And I'm sitting there printing You're hot headed and you're a nutcase. But I'm, I don't want you to understand. When you're on stand and you act that way, oh, man. I'm like, no. listen, I'm sitting there This is why I'm so irritated, bro. And if you sit, I'll tell you why I'm irritated, bro. That I came and I turned my, I drove myself to your. I drove myself to you. Do you know how many people that come down and do that? That trying to clear the conscience, right. trying to convince us that they didn't do it and we have enough facts. Well, I'm coming up. Then I came down, and this is why I get I, this what gets me so bothered right now. Is that brothers and sisters, this is the only reason I'm mad right now, is that brothers and sat in my face and told me that my money, my earrings, and my car was gonna be transferred over to him. Your money and your earrings, we have there's no reason why we need to keep those. All right, none at all. All right. And that's why I'm so hot headed. That's hard. I explain to you why we're keeping it. You told me it. Now you told me. Okay. So now, 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 now I'm cool. Okay. And you know what? Detective Brotherson is, is fairly new. He may not have realized that that car is going to be kept because right. it's. I've, I've been on this job. That's the only reason I'm mad. I've been on this job for 27 years now. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. He may have not known that that car is going to be confiscated until the case is done because it was used in the commission of a felony. All right. Okay. All right. The only people are, and I'm talking to you calmly because I don't want you to feel like I'm being this old. Because I was just being an asshole because when I seen Brotherton, it pissed me the f off because sure. he lied to me, man. Well, I feel that Brotherton lied to me and dropped my car. And my car is not a it's not it's not a raggedy looking car. It's not a raggedy car. So who wouldn't be upset by an expensive item like that? Sure. This, I'm not being honest with you. So I so now I, I come I in here and I see of course I'm gonna get upset about that. I, I pay I pay I put a lot of money down on that car and I pay my I pay my bills every month. Sure. So of course I'm gonna be upset about my car. That's my car. I understand. And I pay for my earrings, cash money for my earrings, and I have some money in my pocket. So now I'm being honest to you, and that's why I was so sorry. And I'm gonna be all the way. I've been thinking about seeing Brotherton for the last couple days and just flipping on him about him lying to me. I feel like Brotherton lied to me about my car and my earrings and my money. Now, I'm gonna come to you. Now, your name is whoever your name Witch is, Witchman. And I'm gonna tell you this I'm sorry for the way I talk to you, Witchman. I'm not right. an asshole type of person, man. I'm a very caring person, man. But one thing that I cannot do, for Rich, Mr. Witchman, I'm gonna tell you this one thing I will not do is admit to something I did not do. Okay. And I, and I don't want you to do that. Both men calm down, realizing that being aggressive doesn't benefit either of them. If the detective is aggressive, Joel will shut down. And if Joel is aggressive, it will show the court that Joel can snap over nothing. I don't want you to admit nothing if you I believe in your heart that you didn't do it. I mean, Mr. Wisdom, well, I'm telling you, it doesn't look good. Mr. Wisdom, Mr. Wisdom, Mr. Wisdom, Mr. Wisdom, I'm sitting up here. You even see how I, Lord, I, just, I just went from being at 10 and I put myself down. And you said I'm crazy. I'm not a crazy individual at all. I'm okay. not crazy. I'm a very understandable guy. Okay. And I'm trying to be understandable with you. Okay. Mr. Wisdom, I'm telling you, I did not kill him, but I will tell you this. That everything is stemming from me not selling them dope. Okay. So I'm telling you. And I have no reason to dispute about 
all of this is all this I'm giving you. You saying all of this, everything that's going on, everything that stains from that this night is, okay. is about this drugs. Is, this, this is the same guy that you got the confrontation at Clips Carry Out. Mm -hmm. That you pulled a gun on. I never pulled a gun on him at Clips Carry Out. Okay, but you had a gun on you. I pulled up on him at Clips Carry Out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. I, and I see, I see how I admit to my wrongdoings. See how I admit to my wrongdoings. Okay, so that stemmed, and then now we got the same guy. Nah, listen, listen, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. It's the hold same on, guy. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna tell you, this is the same guy. Let me tell you, this is the same guy you're arguing with. Now we got the same guy. Now he's dead. All right. You mm -hmm. were there. You were there. All right. Okay. Your actions. All right. There's a word that uh, our prosecutor um, uses quite a bit. Mm -hmm. It's called consciousness of guilt. All right. Okay. All right. By you ducking and getting the heck out of Dodge. You said, duck, you, you said ducking and doing what? Getting the heck out of Dodge, leaving. Mm -hmm. By Amy grabbing the kids and getting out of Dodge also. All right. Lying to the police. All right. Where that she's never seen you. You guys end up at a hotel or a motel up in Illyria mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. um, that perception is, holy crap, you need to duck and get out. Okay, there's no reason if you were that if you were that innocent, mm -hmm. why would you not stay at the house? But all right, so I'm anyway, sure. so the eyewitness is there. Okay. okay. Like I said, the only reason why I'm talking to you is to figure out why. And it's very apparent to me I didn't that, know. that you don't want to talk about that aspect of it. Everything up to it, you had a gun. I'm not giving you the Mr. I'm telling okay. you, I had a gun. I had the little I, you know that. I had my gun. I got caught with Wither on me, man. I had my gun that I got caught with. It. I had that gun in my possession. Okay. Mr. Wishman. Okay. I'm looking in your eyes and I'm telling you, I had that. I had we know that. I had that gun in my possession. We know that. I had that gun. Okay. That's all I had on me, Mr. Wishman. That's all I had on me. You telling me in my face that you think I'm lying to you, man? No. You. I believe you had that gun on you. That's what I had on me, man. Okay, and we're also hearing that you had a second gun. I ain't had no two guns. I had one gun on me, man. Okay, well, we had. We heard you had a second gun too. When I had one gun on me, man, that's the little gun I, I always keep on me, man. That's the only gun I had on me, man. Well, witnesses had you like this. Man, I ain't do no shit like that, man. I'm, I'm I dead with what happened, man. I had a little bit. I had a little bitty revolver in my hand, man. That's all I had in my hand. I ain't had nothing else in my hand, man. That's my word. I'm looking in your face and I'm telling you. And then you telling me that you're looking you know, at me in my face and telling me I'm lying. I, I, I get people lie to me all I'm going to try anyway. So I'm sorry. And I'm sorry. For, and I'm so sorry for ever coming to you hostile or being an asshole to you because you ain't do nothing to me. And I'm being honest. The only reason I was upset with y'all because I've been sitting in that room for the last two, three days. Like, I thought brother to lie on me. And that's all honesty, man. I'm not, I'm not a bad guy. I'm not an asshole. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I mean, I am, I do behave when people try to play me or try to disrespect me yeah. or something like that. But at the end of the day, which I cannot, I will not say, I would not, will not okay. admit to something I did not do. Okay. And I'm just not being a butthead to you, you know okay. what I'm saying? And I'm giving you my I'm word. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm you sorry for saying, I'm telling you this. I want to try. Good luck to you. All right. Good. I guess we'll see you at the trial. Mm -hmm. Joel would take the case to trial, and he would be found guilty not only of murder, but also of drug trafficking charges. He was sentenced to a total of 49 years in prison. The interesting thing is that 34 of the 49 years was because it was his third strike selling drugs. He only received 15 years for taking Anthony's life. Throughout the interrogation, Joel continued to admit he was a dealer because he believed admitting to a lesser crime would make him appear innocent. I'm looking at you and I'm telling you that I didn't do it. But you're looking at me you're, and you're, you're telling you're, me that I didn't do it, Joel. You're getting right to that point. You, everything oh my is, God, that's what's making me mad, man. Everything you're saying is that's right up to a self-defense. That's what's making if me mad, you're defending right? yourself, tell me. Joel, if you were defending yourself, tell me that. Man, I didn't watch first four If you were defending time, yourself, man. tell me that. Listen, man, listen. This ain't gonna listen, man. Okay. Listen, I'm detective. I'm I apologize for you, wasting man. your time. You're not wasting my time. Because if you don't want to tell me. I asked Totio. Were you scared? Nice. Were you scared out there? Yeah, I was scared that night. Hell yeah, I was scared that night. Hell so yeah, would you feel you had when I seen when I seen they had all them guns? Hell yeah, I was scared that night. Hell yeah, I was scared that night. Hell the f yeah, I was scared. Yes, I was scared. So tell when me, I that, seen them guns. I was scared. That man. last five percent. You want me to say I did something I didn't do? But I'm letting you did, know, listen, listen, that listen. I was. Did scared. you did you did you shoot the truck down and take it to hit him? That's a different story. He said, did I shoot at that truck? No, I did not. I'm 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 just I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to understand. Mm -hmm. If you shot at the truck, to get them to get them out of there, that you, hey, I'm Joel. You quit messing with me. This get out of my area. That's murder, bro. That's still murder, Mr. Officer. But there's different circumstances. 
That's still murder, Mr. Officer. Different circumstances. Mr. Officer, I'm looking in your face and I'm telling you that it was four men out there. We have a dead body. It is murder. No matter how you look at it. All right. But there's different circumstances. All right. Is the way that the jurors will look at it. Mm -hmm. And I'm not kidding. If they can understand and put themselves in your shoes, painting that picture, mm -hmm. four against one, mm -hmm. and they go, they whips back at the truck. And I believe that. He witnesses told me that. He, he left. gets out. He, he, left. Gets, he left. He left. He comes back. And he came back searching around the corner. He flew around the corner. I know that because other people that weren't involved told me that. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. Other people also told me what transpired. Joel had a gun. And he shot at that truck. Mm -hmm. If that was self-defense, damn it, Joel, say it. If they were after you, my friend, if the, you felt threatened, if, they, if that doesn't, if that, I don't want you to say nothing if that didn't happen. But what this is going to happen, Joel, is that they're going to see all the circumstances that we see, and they're going to say, you're just cold-blooded. And that, that's the bottom line, Joel. That's the bottom line. This isn't a first 48-hour trick. This is facts. And the only reason why I'm here, like I said before, is I want to know that last 5%. What was going through Joel's mind? They pissed you off. They disrespected you. They came back and full force with four people there. They had guns. I wish, man, it was nice talking to you, bro, but I swear I didn't do that. Okay. Good luck to you, my friend. All right? Mm -hmm. Good luck to you. I'll see you in court. Okay. All right. We'll get you back in a minute. Sit tight. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time here on the Red Tree Crime YouTube channel.